Coming up first, we have Eowyn. The first change to Eowyn is actually her movement speed. Uh, as you can see, she actually outruns horses. She now has the same speed as Eomer and Gandalf. Uh, her second change is actually her disguise. It now comes on level 2. And her shield maiden now comes at level 3. Next we have Eomer, as you can see I have three Eomer here and that's because uh, I want to showcase the spear, that's one of the changes. Uh, the spear now comes on level 3 instead of level 1 and it's uh, vastly different from uh, the spear of uh, 1.03. Also as, as you may have noticed the leadership comes on level 1, so I will do a quick demonstration of the spear. Uh, if you read this description, it says a single powerful range attack deals critical damage to monsters. And by critical, it means a lot. And I have a troll over here, and a Mumaki, okay, he's charging me. You can see it did a lot of damage to that Mumaki and the troll. And I have another spear to show you the splash damage it now. It also deals more damage to horses now, and also it does splash damage. As you can see, I just killed two horses there with one spear. Next we take a trip to Mordor and uh, there is only two heroes for this army and it's actually Witch King and the Nazgul that we're gonna talk about right now. There is actually uh, three heroes if you count Gollum but we're not gonna include him in this list. Right, so Witch King and uh, Nazgul, uh, there's been very few changes to this, but they are uh, noticeable, to say at least. So one of the changes are actually, they take less damage from uh, sentry towers, uh, battle towers, etc. from Rohan and Gondor bases. Also they take less damage from uh, archers, like combos and stuff, with fire, without fire. And the uh, Witch King also takes less damage from Eowyn's Spear. Next up is Faramir. A hero that received uh, quite a few changes actually. One of them being he comes out on level 1. And you may wonder, well, isn't that a nerf to him? And uh, the answer is yes and no. But mostly <laughs> no, because uh, he actually has uh, his base range damage is, uh, has been increased. He levels up much faster, and I do mean much faster. I will show you just by killing one horse here. Uh, one other change is actually his leadership comes on level 4. Uh, it's the same leadership as before. Um, Captain of Gondor comes on level 5. His uh, hit speed is slightly faster as well. And uh, yeah, that those are the changes for Farmer. He's actually way more useful now. He was he was already useful in a way before, but mostly would only get him for to counter Nazgul and, and such. But now you can actually combine him with Boromir and they make a good team. Getting Captain of Gondor pretty fast, both of them. Yeah, it's very useful. The next on the list is not someone you would uh, expect, and it's actually Treebeard. And yes, you just saw him walk out of the Citadel. Uh, the reason uh, of him being in the Citadel in this patch is actually because uh, you will actually find him being useful now. And not being permanent jail, uh, which is the end mood. Uh, the cost has been increased because obvious reasons he comes from the Citadel, so him being 2k would be a bit OP <laughs> coming out so fast. So he costs 3k now. And instead of having to buy Entmuth for 5,000 and uh, Freebird for 2k and wait 10 minutes for him to come out, you can actually buy him straight out of the Citadel. Outpost, camps, etc. 
Uh, so this opens up uh, some new strategies and uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this hero actually being useful. Uh, another change is actually his movement speed. It's uh, slightly faster. You can notice it if you put a regular ant just at walking speed without them actually being enraged. They walk really, really slow. Next up we have uh, the Elven Prince uh, Legolas. You may wonder why I have uh, all these heroes here and I will show you in a second. First of all, uh, one of his changes are actually his uh, knife fighter. And what they do actually is uh, they increase his speed as well as his armor by 20%. Uh, speed by 35%. As you can see I'm running way faster. Another change is uh, actually his uh, leadership. Uh, he didn't have any leadership before, now he does. Uh, what the leadership does is it only works on archers, and that means only infantry archers. That means crossbows, elves, Rohan archers, Rohan elves, Gondor archers, rangers, etc. Not horse archers because they are cavalry. Uh, one more change is actually his uh, train archer ability, and uh, before. Uh, it worked, you could train all archer units, including horse archers and lurts. Lurts actually counts as an archer. Uh, but now Faramir and Legros also counts as archers, so uh, I can actually train ally Legolas and Faramir now. Not my own Legolas though, as you will see. I don't receive any XP, but uh, they do. And one more change is actually uh, oh, this, no, this is not a change actually, I just wanted to showcase uh, why the speed on the knife fighter is so cool. It's actually because you can run really fast and as you can see, Arrowind is actually available. You could do this at 1.62, but the difference is the knife fighter only gave you armor, so it doesn't really do much for you <laughs> to use it. But now you can actually use it to gain some momentum and try to catch a hero. We are in the Eisen base. And the next hero is actually Saruman. Uh, one of the changes is actually his uh, base health has been increased uh, by 100. And uh, his uh, uh, speechcraft. You may wonder why I have, uh, have this combo here. And uh, I'm sure you've uh, been in the situation where you want to rank up your units as Isengard. But uh, to get a level 2 combo, you would have to level up the Uruk first and then combine them. Otherwise, they would never get level 2. If you look now, uh, the crossbows actually get level 2 now. So uh, that's one of the changes to him. And uh, the leadership icon has been changed as well. But not only that, the leadership has been changed completely. Now he gives 50% attack and armor instead of 30% armor and... Uh, 100 or 200 percent experience i can't remember which but he still has the fear invulnerability uh, one more change is actually worm tongue uh, the radius has been uh, increased slightly and that's mostly to prevent uh, units bugging because if, if i was to place worm tongue like this and a single unit is out of the radius that could cause it to just not work and that's really annoying to change a game Once again, we're in the beautiful Gondor base. The next hero we're focusing on is actually Gandalf. As you can see, Gandalf the Great can now mount a horse. That means uh, when you have 6,000, but you don't have the white power points, you can actually buy a hero that's not completely useless. Uh, another change is actually his lightning sword. See it, I click it now. I can actually cancel it and uh, I can use it again. Uh, which before you could not do this, you would have to wait uh, ages for it to come back from the cooldown. Another change is just a visual change, is the leadership icon. Also the experience it gives, it's less now. It used to give 200% uh, combat experience, now it gives only 100%. Uh, another change is actually his, uh, his uh, 
health that he receives from uh, the white power plants, he gets 500 now, he used to get 300, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> also, his uh, shield bubble is slightly stronger now. Yeah, so that's Gandalf for you. Once again, we're back in the Rohan base <laughs> for the last time, I promise. And the hero is actually Gimli. Uh, this hero received probably the most changes of all, say. One of them being uh, his leap ability comes on level 2. His axe has been fixed, it doesn't bug anymore, it has splash damage, does more damage to horses. Um, Slayer now comes on level 5, which makes him a really deadly, deadly hero at level 5. He can do so much damage. But the trick is getting there, it's not that easy, I think. Um, just gonna show you, showcasing you his axe a little bit. See the axe is just really good against horses, especially unarmored ones. But yeah, great, great to see a hero finally being used. Uh, he was in the shadows for so long and now he's, he's out for vengeance. Yeah, that's Gimli on the number two spot. Yes, on number one spot we have Boromir here. Sean Bean is here, and he has uh, some things to say. Um, this hero received uh, quite a few buffs, but uh, the most significant ones is actually his movement speed, as you can see, he moves uh, way faster. He, he has the same speed as Lurch and Legolas now. That means he's much harder to pin. He can actually do stuff now. He's not just gonna come out once a year on huge maps just to creep a troll and follow combos around. He actually plays a big part of Gondor's uh, success now. A v very useful and viable hero, most and foremost. Um, his uh, leadership icon has been changed, it gives a little bit more leadership now. Still comes on level 4, so that's the same. Captain of Gondor level 5, I believe it was the same before, maybe it was level 6, not 100% sure. Uh, what's more important is actually his horn. Uh, now comes on level 3, and uh, unlike in 1.03 and 1.06, it actually works on uh, all units, like all infantry, all cavalry units, not trolls obviously. But before it would only work on uh, infantry level 1 and works. Now it works on FOL cavalry like Gondor Knights, Rohirrims and everything. Another change is actually his he levels up faster. Uh, just like Farmer. And uh, he deals splash damage. Splash damage is uh, really really good and I will show you just why. I just use the horn, you can see it just works. Uh, if they are close enough to each other, like there, I just hit two horses in one hit. As you can see, he's just <laughs> mauling these horses, doing a lot of damage. And he doesn't bug as much anymore when you knock over something, because they don't fall as far. He actually is able to hit them constantly, basically. Yeah, that's for me on the number one spot. 